In today's video, I'll show you how to use the Puppet Warp tool in Photoshop to change the position of your subject. Let's get into it. Create a copy of the background layer by pressing Command or Control plus J. Then, hide the top layer, unlock the background layer, and select the Lasso tool by pressing the letter L. Use it to make a selection around the subject so we can remove it. Once you have the selection, click on Generative Fill and then click Generate. This will give you a version of the photo with only the background. Then let's reveal the top layer. Here, we want to isolate the subject. You can use the Quick Selection tool or any other selection tool. Just make sure you have this setting to select the subject available here at the top. Click the drop-down arrow and choose Cloud to get the most accurate selection. Then click Select Subject. Now that we have a precise selection of the subject, click on the Mask button at the bottom. Next, select the subject layer and go to Edit, then Puppet Warp. In the Puppet Warp settings, you can choose the mode and the mesh density. A higher density allows for more precise movements. For this example, we'll use the normal setting. You can also expand the mesh area to make sure the entire subject is selected. Let's add some pinpoints. These will let you control and move specific body parts. I'll add points on the face, arms, torso, and legs. To simulate joint movement accurately, hold the Option key to reveal this rotation setting when you have a point selected. If you want to remove a point, hold the Option key and place the cursor right above the point until a scissors icon appears. Then click to delete the point. I'll remove the point placed on the foot and keep the one on the knee to make the leg rotation look more natural. You can do the same for the hands. I'll remove the point from the palm and keep only the one on the elbow. Sometimes the movement may not look perfect right away. You might need to refine the mesh with more or fewer points depending on your image. Adjusting the mesh density influences the results. Once you're happy with it, click the check mark to apply the puppet warp. In my case, there are a few visual errors, likely due to the subject selection, but these can be cleaned up easily. You can now see the before and after, and how the subject's legs have moved. And that's pretty much how the Puppet Warp tool works in Photoshop. Don't forget to visit the Creative Society website for design resources, music, and more. If you want to continue learning, check out this other video on the screen. Thank you, and see you next time. This is Creative Society.